Hey, True Believers. Chris Mack coming at you with an action figure today that took a lot of courage to want to pick up. This is the Mafex Batman Hush Medicom action figure. I've seen a lot of people using this figure in photography, how it has the uh, wire bendy cape. And I just, I, I finally just said, you know what? I'm going to do it. <laughs> and I picked it up. If you want to pick it up, please, first and foremost, support your local comic shop and see if maybe someone has traded one in or your comic shop was brave enough to order the Mafex line. So I'll be honest with you, these things are not cheap. If not, I've looked at the other conventional routes, sold out or non-existent. But if you want to pick this one up along with the Superman Hush, they are, at the time of this recording, available on Amazon. So with that said, we see this awesome Batman in the window, Mafex there, cool product shot of the figure there, Batman Hush, same thing on the top with this really cool thing of with his batarangs, come around to the side, get a really nice product shot there, come around to the back, and I love that they give you different ways that you can pose this figure, especially that shot right there, mm, I may have to try to, uh, what do you call it, recreate that because that is beautiful. <laughs> and uh, come back around this way, and I like that it says Batman Hush there on the side with the figure. Just a really good way of showing off different ways you can pose and uh, set this figure up. Nothing on the bottom. So with that said, let's get this awesome figure out of the packaging and get a closer look at him. Here's this gorgeous Batman out of the packaging, and as you can see, there's so much to offer with this Mafex Batman. When I was initially got him in the mail, I was reluctant to take him out. I was like, no, this is going to be cheap. This thing's just going to fall apart on me. Guys, could I have never been more wrong? This thing, oof, I, I don't know. Right now, just from what I've done initially, I think this is probably a definitive Batman figure. There's a whole lot to love and not so much to hate yet. So let's get him off the spinner and let's get a closer look at him. This Batman is based off Jeff Loeb and Jim Lee's Hush Arc. That ran through Batman issues 608 through 619 from October of 2002 until September 2003. Now, I thoroughly enjoyed this arc because it brought Batman and Catwoman's relationship full circle as Bruce finally reveals his identity to Selina. It also ran Batman through the ringer, having to fight Superman, who was under Poison Ivy's control. It brought him to the brink of almost murdering the Joker, and made him relive the death of Jason Todd, which later on kicks off under the Red Hood. And lastly, what I want to kind of say is if you've only seen the 2019 film, that film does not do the story justice. That, was, that really sent a lot of fans into a rage of how bad they twisted that movie. Now with that said, this figure, the selling point for me was definitely, and I will be honest, the Bruce Wayne head. Because we've never gotten in these newer sets of figures from you know DC Direct or McFarlane, we've never got a Bruce Wayne head. You know, we got the, the old Kenner line, we got that Bruce Wayne that looked like Michael Keaton that you could put the bat suit on. And it was clunky, but damn was that thing the bee's knees back in the day. So being able to at least have this head, which is really nicely sculpt so let me get the focus he's got the dark hair the blue eyes going on the kind of you know disgruntled <clears throat> look about him flesh tone looks great so yeah this is kind of other than this just being an amazing figure this is what finally sold me was that head sculpt and of course the bendy wire cape this cape is absolutely gorgeous you know you gotta be this is my first time using a bendy wire cloth cape so i had to kind of get used to how it functions and i just i love how you can just flare this thing out or bring it together you know flip it over his shoulders bring it back around there's just so much that you could do with it and that's why i was saying with hasbro wanting to save plastic why don't they go this route then you know, they should have done that with the Coronation Star Scream. That would have been awesome. So, you know, something to think about there, Hasbro. The Bat logo looks phenomenal. 
Utility belt's great, and I like that it's kind of loose to make it look realistic there. His muscle tone looks awesome. Kind of get that cape up. Gorgeous work there. Hate that that thing's stamped on the back, but it's hidden mostly from the cape, so it is what it is. One thing that I will say is I kind of wish that this Batman was a little beefier, but, you know, especially in the legs. But it is what it is. The grays and blues all the way through the figure just look absolutely spectacular. The other thing that kind of irks me, but I can let go because of the quality of this, is I wish that you could take the cape off. Kind of like how you can the year two Batman where you can take the head off and this comes off, this does not. Or if it does, I'm a little afraid to pop it off myself. So that is what it is. Now let's talk about the accessories real fast. I like that we kind of get the more serious tone head and then the more this is Batman in his uh, ass kicking mode. Both very well sculpted. Love the lines to kind of give the emotion of the heads. Just great work overall there. The blues spectacularly match the uniform. Now what's kind of cool is you know you can articulate the head here, but then you also can pop it off of this wrench here to swap out the head. So that's kind of cool that you get double articulation in that regard. Now he also comes with a slew of hands, which is really neat. I like that you get this option, which a lot of other uh, figure making companies really could take note from this. And I love that they come in these little uh, hand things that you can just take on and off like so. So you get both right and left hand for the Gatling gun. Gatling gun. Whatever this thing's called. The, uh, well, I don't want to call it a Gatling gun. The Gatling launcher. How about that? But I like that it actually shows where the spring loads and whatnot. And it comes with two different ones. So if you want to make it look like it's just getting loaded, got that tiny little hole. Put it in there and as you can see, the metal looks great. Looks like it's loaded up and, and get ready to be fired. Speaking of fired, let's put this down real quick. It does come with a launched grappling hook. I sort of wish this was sort of coiled, but this, the straight metal looks nice. The gunmetal gray on both of these looks good. So let's just kind of put this in the other one. Do, 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 do. I mean, look at that. It looks like it's, you know, this one's cocked and ready to go. And then, and then you get that thing in front of a camera when you're doing photography, and it is just spectacular overall. So those are some great accessories there. We'll put that off to the side. Of course, comes with fisted and grabbing hands, or so you can see, so you can grab things. Good stuff there. Comes with more of the open hand, so you can put do 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 batterings in between the fing fingers. That's cool. The batterings themselves are very nice. Got that nice metallic look about it. There's two of these, and then there's two of this style. I like them both. I think they're just great great quality work on both of them and I like that they give you the option to be able to put them in both hands like that. That is exquisite. And then we also get hands that have the batterings within the knuckles so it looks like you could be punching somebody with the batterings which ouch. So I like that we kind of get that claw look there in those hands. And then we get more of the leaping hands or make this look more like a choke so if we want to choke the joker Got those hands there, really well done. And then the last set of hands, other than the fisted ones that came on the figure that we just saw, straight open. So if it looks like he's jumping or leaping, you know, we got those hands too. So that's great. The last thing for accessories that he comes with is he comes with his own clear stand. Let me put him off more towards the background here. And so kind of like with McFarlane, you know, it kind of gets his own flight stand. 
But what's neat about this one, as you can kind of see, you can put the peg into different areas depending on how you need to pose them. And then of course, unlike the McFarlane one, this is more articulated. So I'm glad that they came with this. Now if you decide to get the black version of this Batman, which I wish they would have done with this one, is it comes with this, but it also comes with a uh, gargoyle that you can plug this into. So I'm like, oh, why couldn't they do it with this hush, hush one? That would have been flipping amazing. Now lastly, for this character, the articulation, superb articulation. And one thing that I will say that I'm thankful for is I did not have to warm this figure up. I tested the waters and right out of the packaging, don't have to worry about the problems like you do with Hasbro and uh, McFarlane. So let's just dump, dump, let's dump right into it. Let's jump right into it. So see, so you get the head rocker from the neck here, but then you also get uh, a dumbbell for the head here, and you get a lot of play so you can get different options. And I'm glad that this thing comes off relatively well so that you don't have to worry about busting it. It's just when you want to take the main head off that you have to be a little careful. So you can look that way, that way, and again, just all sorts of play in the head. Good stuff there. Arms go out that far, like that. Boop, boop, boop. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, wrists go 360, up, down, all around on the hands. And then the waist here, he, um, what do you call it? Rotates both at the diaphragm and down here, believe it or not, so you can get almost 90 degrees. That is impressive. Same thing with the back. Twist, twist, and he goes all the way around. That is superb. Now, for the legs, the, the legs have a little bit of trouble. So I wish that he had more of a uh, bicep, bicep, thigh swivel. I mean, at least you get it here, but it's not like, you know, uh, Hasbro. So that's kind of where they get him there. Sadly, he does have the butt flap. So McFarlane has him beat there, so he can't go 90 degrees back that way. But you can go 90 degrees forward. Double jointed knee. I am frustrated that there's no boot swivel. <clears throat> so you're limited there. Foot go up, foot go down, rocker, and then you get the toe pivot there, which is cool. So you kind of get the, the best of both worlds from McFarlane and uh, Hasbro in certain regards. And if you're careful, you can get him to go out that far. So yeah, the articulation, the paint apps, the sculpt in and of itself, I'm, I'm very surprised and I'm very pleased. Oop, there goes the head. So with that, let's move on to the next segment as uh, Batman tries to find his head. I am in love with this figure. Yes, there are two things that drive me nuts about not having the uh, thigh swivel that well or a boot swivel. <sighs> That's a little irritating. But I can let that go because there's so much that this figure offers that McFarlane or the DC Direct Line did not. I've never been able to really get any of my Batman figures into his launching pose with his grappling hook. I mean, there's so much that this figure comes with that you can just, your imagination is the limit. And I appreciate that I didn't really have to warm this figure up to get him out of the packaging and pose him. He came out and he was just ready to go, guys. If you have some extra cash, this is definitely a Batman that you need in your collection if you are a huge Bat fan like I am. If you all have enjoyed what you've seen with this figure, as I've said, please, first and foremost, support your local comic shop and see if maybe someone has traded this in or they've you know, ordered the figure. If not, then you can go the other conventional routes that I said at the beginning of this review. And if you've enjoyed this review, we really would appreciate if you take a moment to like, share, and subscribe. Helps the club channel more than you could possibly know. And if you wouldn't mind hitting that fancy little bat bell next to subscribe, that way as we continue to upload content, you guys will get notified. Come to the channel, and we love talking with you all and hearing your thoughts and feedback down in the comments below or our social media pages, which I'll make sure to leave the links down in the description. So with all that said, thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you all continue to have an absolutely amazing day reading. Photo slideshow coming up next, and happy hunting.
true believers.